Blessings. I'm gospel recording artist appointed. Please stay tuned for Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. Trying to do what's right, but it does.
blessings and greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. I am your gospel radio apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and thank you for tuning in for Season 5 of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, our guest for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is Indy gospel recording artist Natricia Bibbs. Kingdom Natricia Darlene Bibbs was born on January 21st, 1970. Her father was one of God's generals, the late Apostle Herman E. Bibbs. Natricia has adopted a new motto, not my plans, but his plans for my life. Finally, Natricia states, singing for God and his people, it's more home for me. She says, I'm most comfortable because I don't even have to think hard. It's something I love. I've been doing it for a long time. I get lost in his will. It comes from the heart. It touches the heart. Sister Natricia Bibbs, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Well, praise the Lord, uh, Apostle. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, this opportunity. Uh, good morning, listening audience. God is so faithful. Yes, sir. Amen. Before we begin our discussion, please tell the kingdom a little more about you. When did your journey in music and recording begin? Well, uh, my uh, I began training. Uh, with my father in ministry, kind of like a like a on the job training, because I was about 18 years old, and uh, God saw through my father in me uh, the the psalmist ministry, and so I started in church, and God began to um, cultivate and develop, and that's how the journey began. Uh, it was it, it's been a journey. <laughs> So that's how it begins. Yes, sir. Amen. And please share with us your repentance experience when you embraced a relationship and began your journey with Christ Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> around the age of 16, uh, I gave my uh, heart to the Lord. And um, it was between the ages of seven, uh, 15 and 17 that in a in a twelve noon service uh, that God I received uh, the holy uh, the spirit of, of the Holy Spirit just the yes. evidence of speaking in tongues and uh, God has uh, like I said taken me on this journey He has taken me on uh, the road uh, to Him and He has really moved upon my life but it, it started then at the age of sixteen. Uh, God started to work in me, started to cultivate, uh, and that's when, um, you know, I came uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ at the age of 15. Amen. And what is your status now in the kingdom of God and in the body of Christ? I'm currently uh, working in a local ministry. Uh, wow. I actually am a minister in my uh Brother's Church, which he actually inherited uh, the ministry from my father when he passed on. So I've been actively working. I'm seeing, uh, I, I sing around the city doing ministry, and sometimes there are calls to, to, to be out of the city and go and minister. So I'm currently, that's currently my status. And just growing more in Christ, growing more in Christ, allowing him to cultivate, to show me himself more. So God's just doing a work, so that's where I am. Amen. Kingdom, our topic of discussion is I'm Determined, a song recorded by our guest, Natricia, and was written by our guest brother and former guest of Let's Talk to the Lord, Pastor John M. A. Bibbs. His episode is Staying the Course, Kingdom from the song and topic we will be discussing, I'm Determined to Trust. Natricia Bibbs, please begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. 
Well, praise the Lord. I just appreciate God for the opportunity uh, to do music ministry, uh, do music ministry, but also to do uh, the Word of God. And I thank God for this time. And as the man of God said, the topic uh, today is the time of the trust. I want to do a quick prayer. Uh, Father God, I thank you for this word. I thank you, God, in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus, that during this time that you will minister and touch the lives of those. I thank you, God, and thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming in. I appreciate your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So you may believe, be, be, believe in God for something, maybe a healing, maybe a job, a saving of a loved one, but you know exactly where you are today or what you're believing him for. I put together uh, this, these words, uh, but a list of, uh, during this time, as, as the man of God said, uh, the topic is determining the trust. So when you're determining um, to trust God and to stand fast, during these times, you will experience these things that you may have already or, or you will. Uh, the first thing that will happen uh, as you believe in God for him to manifest things in your life, your thought life has to be strengthened. One of the scriptures yes. that came to mind as I was uh, talking to the Lord was Philippians 4 and 8, uh, King James Version, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever yes. things are just, whatever things are uh, good or pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So during this time, there's going to be battles in the mind. But with this scripture and many others, you have to hold on and you have to allow God to continue to strengthen uh, your thoughts, strengthen the things that um, are coming, uh, strengthen you to fight against the things that are coming to your mind. Remember, anything that, that is negative is not of God. The second thing that happens is your faith during this time is being exercised. One yes. of the sisters that God gave me was now faith is that he was 11 and 1. King James Version, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You may not see what is going on. You may not see what is happening, but you have to believe that in spite of, just like you cannot see God, but you know that he is there. Your faith yes. is exercised. It's being exercised uh, even greater in this season and time. Remember now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Because you have that hope and that confidence that God will come through. But the evidence of things not seen, know they still come through. The third thing, you find out how really patient you are. In these times, you think, okay, I got this, God. I, got, I know that you can do, but then the results are not as quick. But God says in Psalms 27, 13, and uh, through 14, I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord. Yes. In the land of the living. That's 13. The 14 says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So during that time, even though uh, your patience may be wane, wane, waning, you know that, remember, to wait on the Lord because he is there and he will come through. Fourth thing is that, that old uh, uh, time of doubt. You fight discouragement. But the Holy Spirit gave me this. Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So yes. you're, seek, you're seeking him, but in this time, he's going he's gonna to come through. But you have to believe. You have to know. You have to hold on to the horns of the altar and say, God, I know I need faith, but I know that I'm seeking you. I know that I'm seeking you, and I know that you're going to come through. And the yes. fifth thing that came to my heart was you fight focusing on the problem more than God, fixing the problem. And God gave me the scripture, uh, and we're, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing um, in that, on that same scripture, we fight fixing the problem. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he yes. who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder 
that diligently uh, speaking. And I thank God for that. And in our final thought, uh, two words that I wanted to define, find from our topic is trust. And yes. I went to, uh, uh, to, the, to the dictionary, and this definition came, stood out. Assured trust is assured reliance on the character, ability, strength, or truth of someone or something, one in which confidence is placed. A little quote that came um, as I was doing my study, pray and let God worry. I believe that in the middle of trouble is when tr- trust is tested the most. You know, we're tested the most in the midst of trouble. Not when everything is easy, not when everything is going good, but that's when God uh, allows our, our uh, trust in everything to be tested. But the scripture that came to mind was, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and yeah. he hopes the, uh, the Lord is, for he shall be a tree planted by the waters and that yeah. spread it out its root by the river and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall uh, cease from yielding fruit. And the next scripture, uh, that was Jeremiah 17, 7, verse um, uh, 7 and 8. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all my heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Trust God. He'll come through. And then the second, uh, as we are winding down, is determined. Having reached a decision, firmly resolved. What I hear in this is um, I am now fixed in my faith. Yeah. I know no matter what it looks like, no matter how hard things appear, I must stay focused on that God will bring me through this hard battle. And back to you, man of God. Amen. 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 And amen again. Kingdom, our guest and her song, I'm Determined, played such a special place in my life and my heart. Because when I first heard this song, I was listening to it on KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com. So I contacted Dr. Derache Zone, the owner of the station, for the artist and where I could make a purchase because that song began to minister to my inner being. Although I did not understand yet why, but this song became a song I sang a lot in the presence of God, began to minister to my spirit, and I would cry sometimes. And as I began singing and speaking in tongue, and that I'm determined to trust. And Proverbs, the third chapter, and the fifth verse, the sixth verse declares, As you were saying, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Kingdom, November the 6th, 2020. I was on my way home, and I noticed a strong feeling began coming over me. And by the time I got home and I looked into my bathroom mirror, I noticed my face had become swollen. I looked like someone had given me two black eyes. My speech began to slur. I thought perhaps I may have been having a stroke. My sinus began closing, but because I have allergies, I thought maybe that was a part of the problem. So I took a allergy pill. I drank a little blessed oil and thought if I would lay down, I'd feel better. Well, as soon as I laid my head back, my oxygen cut off. And by cut off, I mean I could not breathe. Through my nose or my mouth, my throat had swollen and all of my airways had swollen. So I jumped up and I asked God, what is wrong? Should I call 911? Well, I began calling on Jesus. 
and I was able to catch my breath. So I ran to my phone and I dialed 911, and by the time the operator asked me what my emergency was, I said, I cannot breathe, and I dropped the phone because another attack began. I ran and opened up my front door, and in between attacks, I gathered my belongings to prepare to go to the hospital. The ambulance arrived, and I tried to explain, and one of the EMS workers asked me where my bathroom was. He went to the counter. He said, it's this. He saw my high blood pressure medicine. It's the lisinopril. You are having an allergic reaction to this. We have to get you to the hospital. By the time we arrived, the doctor took one look at me and said, we have to sedate you and put a breathing tube into your throat because if you have another attack and we can't insert a breathing tube into your throat, you will die. I said, okay, because time was running out and I woke up later Saturday and noticed I am in what I thought would be a regular room. Well, I was in intensive care with machines all around me, tubes down my throat, and I began to realize I was on a respirator, and I couldn't believe it. I continued calling on Jesus. Kingdom, I was so very uncomfortable. And the nurse said, I know you are uncomfortable, but you have to have the tube in your throat until the effects of that lisinopril wears off. Well, on Sunday morning when I woke up, I woke up to the fragrance of our Lord Hanabosha and Savior Jesus Christ. It was like I was in a heavenly place, and the Lord touched me. And the effects of that in infection began to wear off. They removed the tube, and by noon, I checked myself out and was at work by 3 o'clock, as though nothing had happened. But my story doesn't end yet because I had a $29,600 bill that my insurance company said they don't cover because I had no emergency coverage on my policy. But God, hallelujah, God came through and that $29,600 bill was brought down to around $5,000. Thank you, Jesus, for the day and a half stay in intensive care. Now, Tricia, it began to become very obvious to me why I fell in love and worshipped as I listened to your song. Because I am I was in that horrible situation, and I had to trust God all the way to the resolution of the bill. God healed me. He healed my spirit from the shock and the trauma of that thing and resolved the bill. I said, I have to find you and share my testimony with you. It was after your brother's episode that I found out that John M. A. Bibbs wrote the song, and it was his sister, Natricia, that recorded the song. My God. So I again say to you, you are always welcome to let's talk to the Lord. Your ministry and your brother's ministry in music and songwriting is what our purpose and the purpose of gospel music, period, is all about kingdom. I want to end my testimony for this episode with two passages of scriptures that you've heard already from Sister Natricia. Isaiah 41 and 13 declares, I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. And in Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8, as she read, it declares, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its root by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves always are green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Amen. Wow. Now, Tricia Bibbs, please give us the final words on our topic of discussion. I'm determined to trust. Well, my friends, oh, God, what a powerful testimony. Hallelujah. My friends, Jesus, what a powerful, 
testimony. I can feel, I can feel the presence of God, and I thank God for uh, bringing the man of God through. But I want to leave you with this: total trust in the Lord can change your life. Uh, as we walk in the Lord, we can be full of questions. We can have yes. doubts. Why does God allow suffering? Why? Why do bad things happen to good families? Why does it seem to take so long for God to answer prayers? But God longs us to to, to uh, do a, do a deeper work. He longs to do a deeper, deeper work in us. Yes. He wants us to take. He wants to take us beyond uh, our set beliefs, tradition, all of these things, and fill yes, our hearts with complete and total trust in him. We are tempted to doubt. We, we can say, help my unbelief, but until my belief becomes full, I choose to trust you. Um, I urge you to resolve your issue of trust today. Your yes. faith may be shaken, but your rock is still there. Yes, Say to Father, God, no matter what comes, Hallelujah. I have determined that I will trust in you. Amen. 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 Sister Natricia, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. Yes, sir. So my name is Natricia, Natricia Beard. And you can find me on uh, social media platforms under Natricia Beard. Uh, uh, I have music on all platforms. We're doing a little revamping, but you can find us uh, on um, social media if you're having issues of downloading music, or you can email me at NatriciaBibbs uh, at gmail.com, and I'll spell that for you, N-A-T-R-I-C-I-A-B-I-B-B-S at gmail.com, or just Natricia Bibbs on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Amen. <laughs> and please Amen. tell the kingdom about the music they will hear during this podcast. We've already heard you're the reason, and tell them about I'm Determined. The other reason uh, totally talks about the relationship with Christ that I have. There was a song, actually a man of God was in service, and uh, he uh, talked it to me. Uh, he sung a little lines of the, of the song, and then God mm-hmm. allowed it to come to life in my heart. And uh, we expanded. Uh, we got uh, a band to play with it, background singers, and there that song came alive. Of course, you heard that. I'm Determined to Trust was written by my brother, John, uh, and it was just one of those songs. He was trying to find songs for the album, for the record recording, and uh, he pitched a couple of songs, and then and we took that song, and God caused us to bring it uh, to life. A musician uh, that worked with me, uh, Roderick Roberts, a local um, uh, minister of music, was able to help this song come to life. So God's been good. So those are, that's the story behind those two beautiful songs. Amen. And how may the kingdom support your ministry and purchase your music? So, again, uh, and I, I said this earlier, <laughs> but I'll uh, say it again uh, at this moment. Uh, you can find me on all of the uh, streaming, uh, Amazon, you can find me on Apple. Anywhere that they're selling music, you can find the project. As I said before, if you can't find it, you can reach out to me by email, nutritionbiz.gmail.com, or in- inbox me on Facebook. But, yes, sir, that's where you can find the music. Yeah. Amen. And Kingdom, we want to let you know that the music of Natricia Bibbs, I'm Determined, and The Reason are in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International, and it plays 24 hours a day, so feel free to go there to request it any time. Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa, YouTube. You can download episodes from speaker.com. You can hear us every Monday on Elation Radio and at PositivePower21.org by clicking on Menu, clicking on Media Room, and Let's Talk to the Lord for every episode. We're on Sensational Sounds Radio every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the 
Lord at yahoo.com. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio dot international. Please follow us on Twitter at Ross Apostle. Please download our app on the Google App Store on your cell phone under the name Let's Talk to the Lord Radio dot international. Let's talk to the Lord Radio International. We have 24-7 music, talk radio, interviews, news, and so much more. Kingdom, you can now ask Alexa to begin. Let's talk radio international. My latest music, Lord, Give Me Another Chance, is available on all digital platforms featuring gospel recording artist Sean Scales and Tamara Lloyd. And my first EP, Remember Now Thy Creator, which is under the name Minister Johnny Ross, is available on all digital stores. So until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What do you do when friends walk away and it seems like you're all let go, needing a friend to share pain. But you can't get anyone on the phone. My it begins. I refuse to hear. Oh